Well, Congressman, thank you so much. Uh, what, what is your feeling about what's going on right now with Twitter? Well, I think what was rolled out last week was uh, disturbing. Uh, what you see is that not only was there a relationship between the campaign uh, arm of the Democrat National Committee and uh, this uh, high tech kind of across the board connection that was being made, but they were doing it on a weekly basis. And anybody who's worked in and around campaigns or on campaigns knows that, you know, those weekly meetings are held for one reason, and it's to maneuver. It's to find out ways of exploiting the weaknesses of your opponent or to uh, shore up your own campaign and, and your own message. And if you've got this uh, cross-section of uh, those that control social media teaming up with the Democrat National Committee or any of its uh, ancillary campaign arms, uh, you know, you, you've absolutely got manipulation of the election cycle. And, and I think what, uh, what Elon Musk did was uh, he saw what existed and certainly was privy to it and said the only way to clean this up is to, is to make it public. And, and by rolling these uh, items out uh, in the way they did, uh, I, I don't think there's any idea that, uh, that what was going on was some type of collusion. So you would disagree with the contention that um, she was making there that this is old news um, she's making it sound like it's irrelevant, that we've seen all this before. You, you don't agree with that at all. Well, you would think that the White House press secretary could actually do a better job at it than, than what we saw. Uh, the idea of just calling it old news is simply ridiculous. It's well, that, about that's an effort to minimize it or trivialize it. And, and, and it also changes the attention as to the timing of it rather than the content. And just to remind people, among the things, internal Twitter emails showed the Biden campaign asked the company to remove posts. Some of the posts contain nude photos of Hunter Biden shared without his consent. Critics say the removal of the pictures is evidence of the social media's platform bias in favor of Democratic politicians. Now, to be honest with you, Congressman, I really don't want to see nude pictures of Hunter Biden, maybe fuzzed out or something. But it, it, it does. Uh, it was awfully um, convenient for the Democrats for those pictures to be taken down. Yeah, you think about the numbers and how close that presidential election was. Yeah. I mean, an item like that is a bomb being dropped in the last three weeks of an election cycle. And and maybe it wouldn't sway every voter out there, but there is a certain group that, that may look at, uh, you know, those photos or any of the other uh, tweets that, that were suppressed and say, listen, there is something to this whole Biden crime family uh, that Hunter Biden certainly had access to, f to foreign nationals and was using the system to simply, uh, you know, do a cash grab. I mean, those are the types of things in which some voters would say, no, I can't support a candidate that falls into that category. And, and uh, you know, I think that's what Elon Musk was trying to demonstrate is that yeah, it did happen, folks. This this happened before our eyes. And and there were a lot of Republicans who were concerned about this or, you know, hearing about things like this. Yeah. Uh, and now we it's been underscored. And it, it's true. I mean, it really happened. And now we know it happened. Well, Elon Musk himself described it as election interference. Congressman Fitzgerald, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good to be with you.